Young climate activist Greta Thunberg has hosted a group of climate scientists on the sidelines of the United Nations Climate Talks in Madrid. Ms. Thunberg, who arrived in Madrid on Friday, says it is important for climate science to become part of the curriculum of schools around the world, but added that it was also crucial to educate adults about the climate. The panel of climate scientists include Sivan Katha from the Stockholm Environmental Institute and William Momo from the Fletcher School in the United States, among others. The UN's COP25 talks run until December 13. I am now being joined by environmentalist Ugochi Oligo for more discussions on climate change and the COP25 summit. Many thanks to you, Ugochi, for joining us on this hour. Um, you've been following uh, stations in the past days. Um, the summit will end on December 13. Um, how would you assess the efforts and pr preparedness of um, world leaders in com combating climate change? Um, so far, a lot of environmentalists from across the world have always said that um, it's just all talk, talk, talk and no action. And that is why young people like Greta have been out, you know, saying we don't want you to keep talking anymore. We need concrete actions. And for now, it's still uh, um, today and tomorrow that the high level segments start today. So that would let us know how actually the world leaders are really have been listening to young people from across the world, have been listening to environmentalists to say, we need to act now, we need to act, quick, act quickly. So today, the high level segment starts. So that would actually help us know if they are really, really, really serious this time around, if, if it's not going to be all talk again, and then we go back, you know, with all our plans and actions, and we go back and it's still, you know, business as usual. Um, Greta Thunberg, the cl climate activist, like you, you mentioned, has said that look, um, climate change should become a curriculum in schools. Um, do you agree and what impact would that make? Absolutely, absolutely, I agree. And remember that children have um, the ability to push you know, their parents or their guardians to act more on whatever issue it is. So I think it's vital for us to begin early to teach our children the importance of conservation, teach our, teach our children, you know, to go back to their parents who probably are world leaders or who are leaders somewhere to begin to take this seriously because we know that they say we, we are borrowing the planet from them. So they are the ones who are going to live with the impact of whatever, of whatever disaster we let happen this time around. So I actually believe what she's saying is correct. We need to you know, make that a curriculum in our schools all over the world. Some schools are already doing that in Italy recently. They've started that as a, as a, as a subject for people to understand climate change and its impacts and how to conserve our planet. So definitely I agree with her. She's been a one, you know, she started as a one, one girl army and now it's millions of people from across the world who are following what she's saying and obviously what she's been saying it is the truth and yes i agree totally with what she's saying um let's bring it home to nigeria I i'm very sure you remember that remarkable um, um speech given by the president Muhammad buhari at the u.n general assembly on climate change um, and what nigeria would do but at this moment nigeria is one of the top um, six african countries when uh, in africa when it comes to greenhouse greenhouse gas emissions what can we do to begin to cut down on our um, greenhouse gas emissions in the country first of all we don't talk about it enough we don't make noise about it so much gas flaring it's been on for decades and decades and we're not tackling that. Beyond the problem it, it creates to um, people in the communities where we play the gas, it is how much of the emissions we contribute you know, to the atmosphere. So we need um, um, influencers in Nigeria on social media, uh, you know, uh, public figures to begin to really talk about gas flaring. Just because it's not happening in your backyard, just because you really don't see it doesn't mean it's not there. We don't take it seriously. We're just really enjoying the, you know, the, the profit we make from from oil exploration without talking about gas flaring. Gas flaring, I'll, I'll say three times, gas flaring, gas flaring, gas flaring is a problem for us in Nigeria. And of course, transportation. If we don't have good um, transportation systems, if we don't have good urban planning and organization in a sustainable manner, we cannot be able to meet our NDCs. Transportation and electricity generation. Think about the generators we use every day. If people don't have access to electricity, they're going to you know, use generators, they're going to burn, burn more fuel. We contribute so much, so much. And if we don't tackle these things, if, if, if corruption doesn't let us tackle these issues, we wouldn't really make any headway. So gas flaring, electricity, transportation, those are the core areas we need to tackle as a country. All right. Gochi Oligwe, environmentalist, many thanks for your time on this issue.